And today I'm going to talk you through how to make better chipping contact. If we can make better contact, we're going to hit better chips. If we make better chips, we'll hit it closer to the hole. If we hit it closer to the hole, we're going to save shots. If we save shots, we lower our goal score. All of that without massive swing changes and lots of practice. It's got to be easier, hasn't it? Let's go for the low hanging fruit. Let's not get the ladder out and try and precariously perch on the ladder trying to pick those fruit at the top. There's so much fruit down here that we can grab and it's pretty easy. Okay, so here is a very difficult chip shot. There's a lot of slope from left to right. There's a lot of slope down to the hole from here. So it's a case of choosing the right landing area, sure, and we don't want to aim it at the flag. We've got to aim a long way left so we can let the slope do its thing. But to make the best contact with chips, and this is what I see so many people do, is they take it back too fast, then they decelerate on the way down. So if you take it back too fast, you decelerate because you know you've taken it back too fast and you hit it thin and you blade it over the green. Alternatively, some people take it back really, really slow and then they speed up on the way down. Both of those scenarios give you a jerky looking and a jerky feeling swing. So I've made videos before about how using a metronome can actually help improve your putting timing. And 52 to 54 beats per minute is really what we need. So when we chip, we want to have a similar type of rhythm. So if I have the metronome playing and it's going tick, tock, tick, tock, we want to match our swing rhythm to that. We don't want a, that type of swing. We don't want a, that type of swing. We want the end of the backswing to be the tick and the end of the follow through to be the tock. So if we just match up the timing. So I would be recommending getting a, any kind of club just in the backyard at home and just thinking tick, tock, tick, tock. We want the rhythm to be the same as our putting stroke. So once I've picked out my landing area, I just need to think about my, my timing. Tick, tock. I've got my length of swing sorted. I'll just aim it out to the left. Nice smooth rhythm, it wasn't jerky. The ball started out left, it's coming down towards the hole. And that's ended up about one to two feet from the hole. So it was a pretty good result. But once you've got control of the speed of your swing and rhythm, and if it can match your putting, it should also match your bunker shot and pitching, but that's another video, we can produce better chip shots. It's only when we start going like that, it gets a bit jerky. That may end up okay, I'm not sure. It's gonna come down. But you can see in that video, that, that looked a terrible chipping action. Or alternatively, we get the other variation where it's slow back, then a big acceleration through the shot. Not a sustainable, good, positive chipping action. Finished up okay, but that's an accident waiting to happen. What we really want is to get control of our rhythm tick, tock, and you're going to get much better results.